Travel Week on Tour. Hope you like the last video I did of electric bike. Well, we're going to go for another little ride today. It's September 2020 and it's 22 degrees. And we're going to go for another little ride and do some more testing on this electric bike. Tell you some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages. Let's have another look, shall we? Here we are. It's all fully charged, ready. We're going to set the camera up on a bike, so it's going to be a bit bumpy, even though we've got image stabilisation on this uh, camera. We can't seem to get the tripod very good on the bike, but we're going to give it a go. So let's go for a little ride. Right, let's go for a little ride. We've got the camera set up on it. Yeah, since I put the last video up, had a lot of messages about this bike people asking if it's road legal yes it is it's classed as an e-bike I'm going to tell you some advantages and some of the disadvantages of this bike after riding it around I love it some of the advantages is you can use it in cycle lanes bus lanes never get a parking ticket because there's no number plates it's got a top speed of about 20 miles an hour but it's brilliant for town work and it only costs 5p to charge this one up to two 30 miles the new ones cost 10p to charge up and it will do 60 miles it's got a horn as you can hear Just to remind you of some of the things I said in the last video. It's got headlights, dipped and main beam. And it's great fun. Some of the disadvantages. Well, because it looks like a scooter, I'm always getting pulled over by the police. And I do get lots of funny looks. Like where we're going now, you can't take a motorbike. But you find that a lot of people will stare at this thing because of what it is. But it's fully electric, no petrol. And it's great fun in subways. You can ride it in all places like this. It's a bit bumpy around here so bear with me yeah I love it probably one of the best 450 pounds I've spent I've been stopped by the police about seven or eight times now basically every time I'm out in it no problem unless you spot the police and if you spot the police they spot you and you get a pull and the first thing they turn around and say is where's your helmet where's your number plates where's your driving license well you don't need any of it and as you can see it goes quite well we're in Salisbury Wiltshire heading down towards the town centre on the main road whether we get a pull or not your guess is as good as mine if we do get a pull you can listen to the recording before they send me on my way It's a Sunday in September 2020, it's 22 degrees, I'm in my shorts. We're going to go around the town centre, show you a couple of little bits and pieces of interest of this historic town. 
many people come here lots of tourists very popular place it's in Wiltshire and we've got the weather spoons here on the right hand side a bit quieter today because it's a, a Sunday so I thought I'd set the camera up it's not set up very good it's only uh, tied on the front with a few plastic tie wraps just to get you a little bit of footage It's good for darting in and out of traffic. And this place here, I'm going to show you in a minute, is called the Poultry Cross. It's well known, it's very old. And right opposite, there's a pub which is known to be haunted. So we, we get you a little bit of footage of that as well. There you go, this is the Poultry Cross in Salisbury in Wiltshire there you go, there's not a lot going on let's show you this little pub shall we I'm not going to take the camera off so just have to bear with me there you go, that pub there it's called the Haunch of Venison well known, so tiny But it's haunted in there, they say. So you just have to take my word for that. I've been in there many years ago. Alright, let's go for a little ride around this poultry cross. They have market stores here. On a Tuesday. And on a Saturday. Years ago you could drive cars down here but not no more, it's all stopped. And it's changing all the time, it's just all cafes now. Not like what it used to be. Of course with the Covid as well, everyone's wearing their masks. Scared of catching it. Let's take a left here, and this uh, takes us into the market square. Right, this is the market. It's a Sunday, there's not much here, but on a Saturday it's packed. They have everything here on a Saturday, all the stores. We've got a few here today, but it's not like a Saturday. Saturday's the main day for the market. But we've got a few stores here as you can see. somewhere for people to go on a Sunday you would know. if you want a stall there they say it's 50 quid for a 15 foot stall you've got to sell a few goods to get your money back Practice studio glass. Hi. Oh, hi. It is very nice round here. In 22 degrees. Looks like there's arts and crafts here today. But on a Saturday you get all the fruit and veg and burgers and you name it, everything that you want. Just 
just having a bit of all sorts here today. I hope you're enjoying this little ride around on this electric scooter. All good fun. Well, we're going to take you through and just show you another look of the poultry cross and the haunted pub before we end this video. It's only a little small one for you to enjoy. I hope that everyone enjoyed the last one. So I thought I'd answer some of your questions. It's brilliant for bombing around these sort of places. Right, here we go. Here's another look of the haunch of venison. Haunch of venison and another look of a poultry cross. Well, I hope you liked this little video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please share with your friends and look it up online e-bikes just go on to Google you can find all the information you want on these bikes absolutely fantastic cost nothing to run very very cheap this is Travel Rick saying bye for now and I'll see you on another video very very soon bye for now